What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. Today, I'm here to talk to you about Porter pickups. This is the jazz based version. I have another version coming out, the P based version. I haven't uh, got to cover yet as of the new year, but that's coming to you very soon. But right now, I got the jazz version here, Porter pickups. About to get into them. Keep that intro. Okay, so Porter pickups are more known to me through uh, guitar stuff, P90s, uh, Strat, casings, vintage thing. Their their brand is the bread and butter is electric guitars and stuff like that. And every uh, guitar that I've ever heard with Porter pickups in them are crystal clear. This isn't a paid sponsorship or anything like that. That's just me talking to you. I actually got uh into porter pickups through my man rumbling man he has a guitar a few guitars with porter pickups in them and they sound clear as day all of them and then you got rumble who plays well so he makes everything sound good so he actually uh opened my eyes to the possibility of you know seeing if i can get my hands on some and you know throw it in a bass a very standard bass and see what it does to the characteristics of it, right? So here I have a very basic Harley Benton JB20 uh, BM standard series bass. Only thing that I did different was change the pick guard from white to this cool blue. So it looks kind of cool. So I ran with that one. Pinky donated this pick guard. So, um, but everything else is completely standard. I didn't even set it up. It came out of the box feeling pretty good. So I just let it ride. Um, in this, this is a passive bass. So everything that you're hearing as far as electronics or the stock, electronics, volume for the neck, volume for the bridge, and then an overall tone. Other than that, the pickups are doing all the heavy lifting. This bass actually is on tomeandmusic.com for $105. And this is what these pickups can do to the bass. So the first thing I'm gonna do is play on the neck pickup. Then I'm going to play on the bridge pickup, and then I'll play both of them. I'll uh, do something with the tone all the way off, and then I'll turn the tone all the way on so you can see kind of the tonal characteristics of each thing. So first, neck pickup, tone off is what we got. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the tone up. Of course, because these are not hum canceling pickups, you will hear a little bit of the hum in there, but in the mix, it shouldn't be that bad. So here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the bridge pickup. Let's take the tone all the way out and run it like that. See what we got. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
let's put the tone all the way in. There's the hum, but let's go. <laughs> put uh both pickups up and then uh take the tone all the way out this is what we got Let's go tone all the way up, volumes all the way up. This is what we got, full punch, full gusto. Now, you know I gotta do it. Slap for Augusto. Mm. I didn't go too crazy. I'm getting better. 2022, gotta be different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that is a quick little demo of what these pickups can do. I really like how clear everything is. I can take this to a studio and be confident that I can gig with this bad boy. Like I can actually session with this bass, exactly how it is. Do some EQing later on in the, you know what I'm saying, in production or whatever, if I need a little bit more bass, a little bit more treble or whatever, but just how it is, clear as a bell, I can go and rock any situation, just this bass. It's pretty dope. I'm interested to see how the actual um, P bass sounds with these pickups in it. It's an interesting little thing. So um, thank y'all for watching. If you dig this type of content, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Like this video, it helps me out as far as metrics go and with YouTube and all that good stuff. And always, you can catch the notification whenever I'm actually posting a video. So uh, thank y'all for watching. I've been Alan Brown, AKA Bullet the Kid. Till next time, y'all be easy. <laughs>